Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snowkiss, and this is another episode of our Endless Space 2 campaign. And as you, as I just noticed right now, is we just find a system which we in which we can colonize two planets. So that should be uh, our next goal, I think. Okay, so we can get something called infinite supermarkets, and after we get that, and on our empire finished. And a universal quest which exists, which were to search 10 curiosities. We didn't search anyone, any, so we didn't really compete in that regard. Anyway, we're gonna get infinite supermarkets to increase our uh, approval, and then we're gonna get optical research lab uh, to increase um, our research, because th by then we should have enough uh, con contentment approval so that uh, our population is happy here. Uh, the only thing is I'm considering getting another incubator first, simply so that we can colonize both Cancer and Wentho. Hey, another minor civilization, cool. Um, hi guys. Okay, so you give five food and sterile, but you're ecologists. That's uh, still cool though. So you are essentially an AI race without, which lost your creator race. Still though, that's uh, really cool. We, I'm not gonna improve with them as of right now. We're gonna improve with the, what are they called, the Davins and um, Calgaros. Uh, to begin with, we can't really afford the influence for all, for all of them. We are losing a lot of money, so let's. Um, get this this skill and now we are only losing a little bit okay let's keep going okay so there's an election and if we want to we can officially support a party and it costs some dust, which we can't afford, and some influence, which we could afford if we really needed to, but we don't really. So, the industrialists and the ecologists have surveyed quite high, but the scientists still have a clear plural uh, majority, majority. And the religious, surprisingly, even though they actually have pops which are religious, have very low um, results here. So, uh, let's take a look. The vote breakdown. So. Not really that exciting. Um, as of right now, we only have two uh, two systems, so it's not going to be a lot to uh, analyze in the beginning. Anyway, we got one vote for the, um, the ecologist, I believe, and the rest of the votes for scientists. So next step. Okay, so the scientific um, party has become uh, established, as it's called, and that means you can easier enact scientific laws, I believe, something like that. And the pacifist also got one representative, which means we're gonna be able to enact some pacifist laws, even though we're most likely not going to do that. What we... Okay, so bar baryonic shielding is done. Perfect. That means we're gonna take um, this guy here and send him to uh, Oshi. As you can see, there is no hype lane here, but he could still. I'm not sure why I'm giving it the ship name a he, especially since ships are usually called she. Um, they are able to pass this section even though there isn't any hype lane. So that's quite cool and um, very helpful in many situations. So instead of having to go uh, all around here, we could jump from here to here, for, for instance. So anyway, we're gonna go here and then we're gonna use our probes to uh, try and find another cluster. Uh, other than that, what were, was I doing? Um, what were I doing? Right, laws, 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 laws. We have one law enacted which um, allows us to research technologies from the next stage of technology. We could get a super tax which would um, give us more, quite a lot more money when we do need the money. We could get a larger host bill, which isn't really necessary. We could get this, which would be necessary, it would be nice due to the approval, but it would uh, devastate our, it would decimate even our uh, science. 
can get more movement movement points, which is nice always. We can get more. Um, this is fantastic. Um, might consider that. Never seen that before. Um, no, no, it's it anyway. And this is nice later on when you have more luxury resources and stuff like that. So that's um, there's no upkeep for this one. So let's get some money. And as you can see, we've essentially uh, completely gone away, done away with our deficit. So that was. Um, Nice, n nice timing, I'd say. So we're gonna colonize Cancer OMFO, and then we're gonna keep within that border. We're also gonna integrate all the three um, mi minor civilizations uh, over time. And after that we'll see how far we wanna... wanna expand. Then we ex next... Right, so we just uh, finished you... you... Eukairotic sap, and from that we got um, an empire improvement, which um, I think you build on your capital planet. I can't remember. We also got a support module, which is that's really a good one actually. Um, now we're gonna go go with graviton research, which gives us uh, a new building, and which gives us more science and. A Planetary colonization, which we can colonize Arctic, so that's uh, really good. Um, we're also in the positive here on the dust budget. We could probably colonize Oshi as well, actually. Anyway, we're gonna launch probes, and this is how you do it you essentially just point in a direction, and the probes cannot fly away. We gained our population on Indusa, now we have two uh, Sophons over here. Which is cool. Right, I forgot to send away our um, colonization fleet here. Okay, so now we're cordial with um, the Kalgaros. And the fun thing about this is they are actually sending us manpower, empire dust, and uh, science. So essentially, we are their suzerain for now. So that's also cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's create this fleet and okay. So some pirates are attacking our fleet. We don't have any shields. Uh, essentially, turtle is what we're gonna have to do. I'm actually gonna retreat here. And um, we're. It does because uh, and because of that we are received into Misar. <laughs> Quite a misery. Um So yeah, we, we've already found another cluster. So what we're gonna do is um, try to get around the pirates. Probably go over here and go this route and get to Grafias, um, so we can finish our quest. Anyway, uh, what I was talking about was. Right, um, our incubator. Let's get to Owento so we can expand our influence this way and maybe prevent the pirates from getting too closer to our um, core systems. Oh, nice. Okay, so um, out of the blue, literally, a new minor faction has abruptly moved onto one of your planets and have no intention of leaving anytime soon. Whether they are friendly or not is yet to be discovered, but hopefully their intrusion won't be long. It's up to you to decide how to best treat them. Newcomers to Kalgaros on Megres, which is our... Our purpose is to kill. You, though, will suffer. Okay, okay we well. got it. Uh, so the... Um, I don't know what I called. Um, these guys um, have essentially threatened us, so let, we can actually... Watch this in the diplomacy view. We only found the uh, Leaper. And they are essentially trying to threaten us. We are coming. And they are coming apparently. Um, a bit personal to share that, but sure. Um, but anyway, we're gonna colonize right away. I'm, I feel like I forgot something there, but... Um, 
And this might not be uh, popular, I'm not sure, but we're gonna colonize the medium um, ocean because uh, more food means faster population growth, more production means faster buildings, dust, always good. Uh, especially since we're kind of struggling, not a lot uh, anymore, but still we are struggling. Um, this will be nice because all of the huge amount of science, but uh, we can always colonize that later. This is so cool. I mean, it really is cool. It's unfortunate it doesn't, it doesn't really vary even... I mean, it varies between planet types, but it doesn't vary on the same, same planet types. Um, sorry, how, how long until this is done? 20 turns, that's a lot of time. Alright, anyway. Okay, so people... So th I think this is random, uh, a random event which um, searches the... Um, searches the price of titanium and it happens for other resources as well. We have an idle fleet, so let's try to get to uh, Grafias, shall we? Hopefully the pirates aren't um, still in Oshii. If they are, I'm sure we... C oh, fuck. Uh, I forgot to heal our fleet. Is it possible to... Um, no, it isn't. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going then. I keep looking at the time because um, this game is really fun and I kind of don't want to stop. So it's... I kind of lose the track of time and um, therefore don't know when the episode ends and stuff. So this guy is going to give us essentially the same thing, a lot more science, um, but still essentially the same thing. Right, we forgot to look at Megres because we now have two Kalgaros which is giving us... See, now we're happy. They're giving us a lot of um, uh, approval. And we ha already have another incubator. We are sending one to Weffo, we've already done that actually. Um, we're not gonna go here because we, I don't want to risk um, our ship to the pirates. So let's go to Cancer and get some um, tuberculosis. That is what I expected. Um, I should have done this better and it's my bad, really. Uh, we're gonna turtle, we're gonna retreat, hopefully we don't lose them. Fuck. Okay, so let's uh, fight it out then. Uh, I'm not gonna watch it. Watching it uh, has no effect. Okay, so it, di it did survive. Cool, okay. Um, can we run? Hopefully we get to run away before the next battle begins next turn. Okay, so we have Hyper Spuds. Uh, I guess it's from Wenfo. And you can actually, um, let's see where I found, find this, can't, right, we, we don't have it yet, we need economy and trade technology state tree unlocked before, but uh, you can essentially um, develop your uh, empire and uh, then enact those developments on systems, um, and you can essentially tailor, uh, tailor the developments to different resources, so um, if you want to tailor it to super spuds, you're gonna get some kind of bonus. If you want to tailor it to some other resource, you're gonna get another bonus and so on. And we had some kind of mushroom before, which gave us... I can't remember, it, it wasn't really good. I think it gave us more manpower or something. So, again, um, we might lose the ship here. Most likely it's gonna lo lose the ship here. Yeah, as I thought. Okay, they, the, those guys said something to us. Um, so this means we are gonna need to get a couple of detectors, unfortunately. So we are we are having to stall our production on this place. What are we building over here? Um, how long does this take? Three turns. Okay, so we're gonna. This is the plan right now. We're gonna build. Um, we're gonna build three ships, and we're gonna make them in, into a fleet, and then we're gonna kill these pirates, and then we're gonna finish the quest. What the hell? What is this? Never seen anything like this. 
or this. Are those my... Alright. That's just another Empire's um, probe. My bad. If I thought it was some kind of... I have no idea. Oh! Four plans we can colonize. I kind of want to colonize Imnos now. Actually, you know what? We could... Uh, we could. Five turns. Sure, let's go colonize that instead of um, Cancer. I mean, that's pla that place is Cancer anyway. As you can see as well here, uh, we actually unlocked the colonization option. I, I might not have explained this that, that well, but white dots means that you can colonize. Um, so we can actually colonize the system if we want to. And um, you, you can't do that with colonization ships, you have to do it with um, essentially a, a construction queue. And so that's what we're gonna do. After we built these ships, we're gonna uh, create a colony on Megras 2. And that's gonna give us a decent amount of everything except influence and just a little bit of science. Okay. Okay, so now we're finally moving on to plasma metal metallurgy, which means we can start explore exploitating Hyperium, which we haven't been able to yet. Now we can also colonize um, uh, Arctic, which means we're gonna have all of a sudden uh, cancer open up immensely. I should have checked that. The, the great thing about Arctic planets is the amount of research. So we do want to colonize this, this system, but I kind of want to get Amnos first. We do have four planets here. O Oshi is also four planets. Um, that's pretty much it right now. Um, I'm, I'm imagining that we're gonna all of this plus Amnos uh, and limiting us here is gonna be our future empire. We're gonna integrate in these four going to integrate these four uh, minor factions and uh, colonize Oshi and Misar and then just stop there and try to reinforce those borders and keep within it and kind of perfect, uh, perfect our empires from within. So let's keep praising these two um, factions here and see if we can't get more bonuses from them. Um, this is going to take two another turns, I think. Two more turns. Um, yeah, anyway, let's keep going. These guys have shielded here for quite some time now. And it's not that worrying as such, but it's a bit weird. We got a new colony. And we got a quest. Opening your empire's borders, your empire's doors to new population types has its challenges, but it's also, also its reward, rewards. Each new group adds to, it, to the strength and flexibility of a society, contributing to the maturity of your empire as a whole. Goddamn globalists. Um, capture, simulate, or attract a new population type into your empire. I feel like that's gonna be done anyway, but uh, we are gonna simulate... Christ. We are gonna simulate these two minor factions, so that should be fine. No, fuck. Ah, oh, what? One though. Okay, so what I think happened here is there are um, like these guys. Um, these aren't actually fleets uh, that we can control. They are simulating um, civilian fleets, and uh, when you have new colonies, they essentially go from your already established. Uh, systems to your colonies to deliver um, population so that your outposts become proper colonies. And uh, I guess the pirates can uh, loot them and pillage them and um, generally destroy them. And we lost some uh, food due to that, I guess. Which is unfortunate, um, of course, but hardly the end of the world.
gonna merge these two fleets and uh, we're, we are gonna get another detector soon so we're gonna merge that one as well we, are, we got another Sofon on Megrath and we finished two detectors so uh, right we have an idle system here right uh, let's wait a turn with these guys and two more turns to colonize Imnos Now we can finally um, exploitate Hyperium, which is great because you can sell lux luxury resources on the open market after you've gone to research that particular tech, which we haven't, but you can do that. Uh, so that is a great backup if you are running in a deficit. And um, we're also going to focus on Astro Finance now, which is going to give us a lot of dust as well. And I think that's the last... I thought that was the last one. I was uh, obviously delusional. And we can also create... I have no idea why. Anyway. Okay, so... Um, you're gonna wait another turn, because next turn we're gonna have we're gonna have a detector, and then we're gonna move down to one foe to kill these Reapers. Uh, another turn to colonize as well. We have an idle system. Right, so I might have in misinterpreted that last turn, uh, which means we lost a turn, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, so we're gonna go with drone networks first of all, as usual, and then we're also gonna get interplanetary transport network, because we just uh, researched the ability to build them, and they do give us a whole lot of um, productivity. Then we're gonna go with the usual uh, order here. Um, production, production, money, uh, research, happiness and then research that depend on happiness and we're actually gonna do the same on Megris we're gonna build an interplanetary transport network whatever which will take six turns we're gonna yeah we're gonna do that um, and then we're gonna colonize after and the same on Idusa let's build this uh, stuff like that And that should be it for now. Let's end the episode. Uh, holy crap, this is what I talked about before. Anyway, uh, hope you, hopefully you liked this episode and hopefully you want to see more of it. Leave a like if that is the case. Leave a, leave a subscribe. Please subscribe. Please smash that, that goddamn subscribe button, as they say on the tubes. Uh, if you want to see more of me, uh, or if you just want to support me, you don't have to actually watch all my videos. Just subscribing and coming in and watching a video once, it, once in a while is a big support. And I really appreciate it. So anyway, uh, hopefully you like this. Uh, I do. And hopefully you'll have a nice day. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.